Good evening, St. John's. Several years ago, I was staring at a corner in my house thinking, what's behind that wall? And I ended up drilling a hole and sticking, <laughs> somehow I got a camera in there to take a picture because I suspected it was a big vacuous space uh, that just got closed in. And sure enough, it was a big vacuous space, not, not tall enough to stand in, but certainly a good sized storage room. So I put a little door into it and I finished it off roughly so that I would have a place to put Christmas ornaments. All those boxes that you only pull out once a year, I wouldn't have to go into the garage attic anymore. I'd have it in the house, and I was so pleased. Well, Catherine saw this, and she immediately knew what it was. It was a playhouse for her American Girl dolls, and before long, they'd colonized my space, and it was all American girls. And it stayed that way until yesterday. Uh, she has a, hasn't actually used it uh, to play in it for about a, two or three years, but the girls have still been in it. But Henry was looking at it and thought, that could be my home office. And so the American girls got pulled out. Now I have to redesign the door to be able to get a table into there. Um, but Henry has his eyes on it. It's going to be his private office. And I'm aware I'm not going to get to use that room to store Christmas ornaments until my kids are gone. It never was what I wanted. And yet how sad I'll be when all it can be is what I want it to be, the storage. How much richer it was to let it be a sorority for several years for the Catherine's dolls. How proud I am to see a son who's so capable uh, and wants to set up a home office to be able to uh, have all his computer stuff on display and easy to use and just the way he wants it. How much better it was, it turns out, to make this for someone else to enjoy for it to be their private space where they could let their imagination explode. And I think how much this is true of everything in life. If everything we want for ourselves just came to ourselves, what a small, narrow little world we'd live in. But we take what is ours and we use it to bless the other. And suddenly we discover, I actually prefer that. I'm glad for this to be yours. And I think this is the secret to the kingdom of God that Jesus shows us. Living selfish lives is not satisfying at all. It is in loving, it is in giving, it is in blessing that we are loved, that we receive, that we are blessed. Let us pray. When I look at the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars that you have made, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, children of the earth that you care for them? Yet you have created us a little lower than the angels and crowned us with glory and honor. For the night sky is opening outward, star upon star, expanse after expanse. Thanks be to you, O God. For the mystery of your presence in and beyond all that can be seen, Thanks be to you. Guide me further this night into the inner universe of my soul, ever opening inwards light upon light, new depth after new depth. Guide me through strange and fearful spaces towards the place of your eternal dwelling, and assure me again that in drawing closer to you, I draw closer to the heart of every living being, that in drawing closer to you, I approach the heart of life. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. Jesus said, It is the Spirit that gives life. That life is conceived out of passion, and that your passion for life has been sown within every human being. Thanks be to you, O God. For the desire in women and men for children and the lifelong yearnings of mothers and fathers for the well-being of their sons and daughters, thanks be to you. For the hopes of friends for one another and the cries of whole societies and nations for justice and freedom for their people, thanks be to you. Rekindle in me your passion for life, O God. Rekindle in me your passion for life.
from the Book of Common Prayer. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Renew me this night in the image of your love. Renew me in the likeness of your mercy, O God. May any refusal to forgive that lingers with me from the day, any bitterness of soul that hardens my heart, be softened by your graces of the night. Renew me in the image of your love, O God. Renew me in the likeness of your mercy. Amen. Good night, Kick Harbor.